what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in last video we have successfully created our tic-tac-toe game where we can play offline if you click on play offline we can start the game and also we have implemented who will win the game and also the draw in this video we are going to integrate firebase so that we can save our game data in the firebase database and we can play tic-tac-toe online with multiplayer so let's get started Let's get back to our project, close everything, go to main activity, here in our layout we will add some items, one will be create game button, one will be join game button and the edit text to enter the id. So let's first add a text view to write or over here. So below this button we will add a text view, I will copy this, here I will write or and text size will be 20 sp. So we have this or over here. I will copy this button, paste it below. So this button will act as a create online game button and text will be create game online. Same way I will copy this text view. Here I will add one edit text, wrap content, wrap content, text size will be 24 SP, text style will be bold, input type will be number, margin margin 8 dp padding 8 dp hint will be enter game id and we'll give id game id input so we have this edit text let's create one more button that will be over here to join the game so the name of the button will be join online game button so in this way our minimal design is ready let's go to main activity and here we have already assigned the binding so we can add on click listener binding dot create online game button dot set on click listener we'll do something let's create another method create online game so from here we will call create online game also we will call binding dot join online game button dot set on click listener here join online game we'll create this method here join online game so these two functions will be called when we create and join so let's work on create online game first so we will do the same thing but we will do it differently here as you can see in create offline game we have game data we have save game model so i will copy everything from here here game status will be created whenever someone will create the game it will not be joined it will be created joined will be on join online game so first it will be created and we have to assign the id also because we are giving the id as minus one by default we are giving minus one id to this game id but for online game we have to assign some id so for that i will use random i will give random dot next int i will provide the range range from thousand to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine i'll convert it to string that's it so we will get the random id from one thousand to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine we'll start the game now one more thing is required in offline game we are not providing any player so here we have to provide the player while playing the online game we need id so one id will be x one id will be o so here i will create one id that i will assign as my id let's give empty string for now and when we create the game that game data dot my id will be x and while we join the game it will be o so that we will do later so here what we have done we have assigned our id because we are creating the game we are creating the random game id and we are setting the game status as created and we are calling save game model so here it will go now we have to integrate the firebase so that we can store this game model in our firebase database so how to integrate we will go to tools firebase we will go to firebase cloud firestore get started with cloud firestore click on connect to firebase it will launch on browser so it has opened the firebase console we will click add project it will automatically get the name you can change it click on continue you can disable this analytics create project so it is saying our project is ready click continue let's click on connect send now if we go to android studio you can see it is connected now now let's add cloud firestore to our application click on add cloud firestore sdk accept changes it will add the dependencies so it has added the dependency 
now we can use the cloud fire restore but before that in the firebase console let's go to firebase console go to your project and here go to build and enable this fire restore database so that we can use it click on it create database we can start in test mode next enable so we have our database ready here we will store all the data so get back to the android studio since our firebase is set up correctly now in this save game model what we will do whenever we will get the model we'll save it to firebase so how to do that firebase dot file store dot collection collection we will create games collection and inside this we will add document the id of the document will be game id so whatever we will get from model dot game id and we will set it to database that means we will save what we will save we will save the entire model so in this way whenever we save the game model it will go to fire store and save the game model but this we will do only when game is online so how we will determine that here game id we have given minus one for offline games and we are generating random for online game so in that way we can determine if if model dot game id is not equal to minus one that means it is online game then only we have to store this so put it inside if statement that's it so it should create the game and it will store on fire store let's run it and test it it is working or not so if i click on create game online we have game id 9587 and it is in created mode that's why start button is not there so let's see on fire store it is stored or not you need to reload this you can see games collection over here we have the id 9587 our player is x and field position are empty game id game status is created winner is empty so everything is working fine we have the data in our fire store now we need to add join game so we have to enter the game id and we have to join game online so for that let's go to main activity again in join online game we will write some code first we'll get the game id from this edit text and we will search on the database so how we will do that first we will get the game id equals to binding dot game id input dot text dot to string so we will get the game id if it is empty means user has not input anything what we will do we will show a error so binding dot game id input dot set error please add please enter game id so we will set the error and return from here so we won't go ahead if we have the game id now what we will do here we have done we have assigned the id as x here we will assign as o now here what we will do firebase dot fire store dot collection games collection here we will check with that game id if it has some value that means we will get if it has some value add on success listener so on success when we get the value we'll first convert it to our game model so for that we will do model equals to from the document snapshot to object game model class dot java so it will convert the document snapshot to our model so if model is there that means if model is not there then we'll show error and return so here same way we will do please enter valid game id in else what we will do if model is there that means id is correct and we have the data so we will set model dot game status equals to joined because it is in created state and game data will save the game model that will be our new model now when we join the game we have to start the game that's it so whenever we create the game we are creating whenever we are joining we are checking the id and we are joining let's run it on multiple device and check I will run it on two devices so our application is running I will create game online from here so it will be created if you check in the firebase we have this 1349 and the data you can see over here it is in created state now we will join from the here first let's click directly it will show the error over here that is please enter game ID let's input some wrong game ID first join game it will so enter valid game id if we enter valid game id click on join game online you will go to this page it is in joined state but here it is in created state if you go to database here it is in joined state so data is coming correctly in the firebase but we are not getting data in the 
mobile application whatever the new data is there so we'll fix that so let's fix that first it will reflect in the application so for that we have to create one more method in game data here we are saving the game model one more method we will create that will be fetch game model so it will be fetch game model so here it will get the data and with the snapshot listener we will always get the latest update so in fetch game model what we will do from this game model value from this value game model dot value if we have some value we will get first we will check if it is online or not game id is not equal to minus one if it is online then we will do firebase dot fire store dot collection games collection dot document document will be game id dot add snapshot listener so that whenever it changes it will get the listener so here we will convert it to model in the same way we have done earlier so value dot to object game model class dot java so in this way whenever we get the value from snapshot listener it will convert it to model and same way we are doing over here we'll do over here so whenever we get the data it will post value to this live data so it will reflect in the ui itself but we have to do this fetch game model for the first time so go to game activity whenever we come to this activity so first thing we will do is game data dot fetch game model so in this way it will get the data and whatever will happen to the data it will reflect in the ui let's run it and test it so here from here i will create the game online here i will add six nine eight nine so here you can see it is reflected immediately that means that means our snapshot is working correctly and in the both application we are in joined state so we can start game from anywhere so you can see in the both application it has written x turn we know x is the one who has created the game but it is written x turn on both so if we click on over here you can play from both the application but this should not happen so what we will do we will go to game activity in the on click function we will check either this my id we have passed over here that is the current player or not so in on click first we'll check game not started when game is in progress if game id is not equal to minus one that means and current player is not equals to game data dot my id if if we are not the current player means i am not a current player now it is not my turn then we will show the message we'll copy from here not your turn so that we are not able to click when it is not my turn now if you see over here in the both we have written o1 o1 it is not recognized who is the x and who is the o so what we will do if if current player is my id we will show your turn we will go to this game status text here we are showing current player turn that means x or o so here what we will do we'll do when game data dot my id we have game data dot my id if it is equal to current player that means it is me so we will say your turn if it is not me then whoever the player is it will be current player turn and also we can do same thing in the winner in the winner also what we will do here we will put it inside if statement here we will check when game data dot my id so we'll switch if it is like if winner is my id that means you won else we'll do winner one let's run it and test it how it is working we'll create game online from here we'll join game online eight four seven two it is in joined state click on start game so it is showing correctly your turn so it means it is x turn so from here if we click it will show not your turn we can't play from here only this player can play let's click anywhere now if we click over here it will say not your turn so this is working correctly now your turn so as you can see so this player is o that's why you won here o has won so everything is working fine we can start the game it will immediately reflect over here so in this way we can create the game online and we can join the game online using the firestore database we can also play offline 
so we have added all the features to play offline to create the game online to enter the game id and to join the game online so this is the power of firestore real time database so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you i'll put source code in the github you can check the description for the link of the github don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye